Many people enjoy the taste of sugary foods and drinks, leading them to consume them frequently. Sugary snacks and drinks are often readily available and convenient options, making them easy choices for quick energy or satisfaction. Food companies heavily market sugary products, often targeting children and promoting them as desirable options. Some people turn to sugary foods as a way to cope with stress or manage their emotions, leading to excessive consumption. Many people may not realize the amount of sugar in the foods and drinks they consume regularly, leading them to inadvertently consume excessive amounts. Sugar can have addictive properties, leading some individuals to crave and consume it excessively. But we don't know how sugar is killing us slowly. Here are nine ways how sugar is killing your health. 1. Weight gain. Sugar is calorie dense, providing a lot of energy in a small volume. Consuming too much sugar without burning off those calories through physical activity can lead to weight gain. When you consume sugary foods or drinks, your body releases insulin to help regulate your blood sugar levels. Insulin promotes the storage of excess glucose in the form of glycogen in the liver and muscles. However, if these stores are already full, the excess glucose is converted into fat, leading to weight gain. Sugary foods and drinks can lead to rapid spikes and crashes in blood sugar levels, which can leave you feeling hungry shortly after consuming them. This can lead to overeating and ultimately weight gain. Sugar does not provide the same feeling of fullness or satiety as foods rich in protein, fiber, and healthy fats. As a result, you may consume more calories overall when you regularly consume sugary foods and drinks. High sugar intake has been linked to metabolic disturbances, including insulin resistance and increased fat storage, which can contribute to weight gain over time. To maintain a healthy weight, it's essential to consume sugar in moderation and focus on a balanced diet that includes plenty of whole foods, such as fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. Additionally, staying physically active can help offset the effects of occasional sugar consumption on weight gain. 2. Liver Damage Excessive sugar consumption can have detrimental effects on liver health, leading to a spectrum of conditions collectively termed as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease NAFLD. NAFLD encompasses a range of liver abnormalities, from simple steatosis fatty liver to more severe conditions such as non-alcoholic steatohepatitis NASH, fibrosis, cirrhosis, and even hepatocellular carcinoma. Understanding the mechanisms by which sugar causes liver damage requires delving into the intricate metabolic processes involved. One of the primary culprits in sugar-induced liver damage is fructose, a component of table sugar sucrose and high fructose corn syrup HSES, both ubiquitous in the modern diet. Unlike glucose, which is metabolized by cells throughout the body, fructose is primarily metabolized in the liver. When consumed in excessive amounts, fructose overwhelms the liver's capacity to process it effectively, leading to several metabolic disturbances. The metabolism of fructose in the liver involves a series of enzymatic reactions, ultimately resulting in the conversion of fructose into triglycerides fat. This process, known as de novo lipogenesis DNL, is upregulated in response to high dietary fructose intake. Consequently, the liver accumulates fat, leading to the development of fatty liver disease. The excess accumulation of triglycerides within hepatocytes not only impairs liver function but also promotes inflammation and oxidative stress, contributing to the progression of liver damage. Moreover, excessive sugar consumption can also lead to insulin resistance, a condition where cells become less responsive to the effects of insulin. Insulin resistance is closely linked to NAFLD, as it promotes the release of free fatty acids from adipose tissue into the bloodstream and increases the uptake of these fatty acids by the liver. Consequently, the liver becomes inundated with fatty acids, exacerbating hepatic lipid accumulation and inflammation. In addition to directly promoting lipid accumulation and insulin resistance, sugar consumption can also contribute to dysbiosis, intestinal permeability, and systemic inflammation. These factors can further exacerbate liver damage by promoting the translocation of bacterial products and pro-inflammatory molecules from the gut into the liver, triggering an immune response and exacerbating hepatic inflammation. 
Furthermore, emerging evidence suggests that excessive sugar consumption may also disrupt mitochondrial function and autophagy in liver cells, further compromising hepatic health and contributing to the progression of NAFLD. In conclusion, the detrimental effects of sugar on liver health are multifaceted and involve a complex interplay of metabolic, inflammatory, and oxidative processes. Reducing sugar intake, particularly fructose-containing sugars, is crucial for mitigating the risk of developing NAFLD and its associated complications. A balanced diet rich in whole foods, fruits, vegetables, and lean proteins, along with regular physical activity, is essential for maintaining optimal liver health and preventing sugar-induced liver damage. 3. Increased Cancer Risk Excessive sugar intake can lead to chronic inflammation in the body, which is believed to play a role in the development and progression of cancer. High sugar intake can lead to insulin resistance, where cells become less responsive to the effects of insulin. Insulin resistance is associated with increased levels of insulin and insulin-like growth factor IGF, which can promote cancer cell growth. Sugary foods and beverages are often high in calories but low in nutrients, leading to weight gain and obesity. Obesity is a significant risk factor for several types of cancer, including breast, colon, and pancreatic cancer. Cancer cells often rely on glucose sugar as their primary source of energy. High sugar consumption can provide fuel for cancer cells to grow and proliferate. Sugar molecules can attach to proteins in the body, a process known as glycation. This can lead to the formation of harmful molecules called advanced glycation and products of GES, which can contribute to oxidative stress and damage DNA, increasing cancer risk. Reducing sugar intake and maintaining a balanced diet can help lower cancer risk and promote overall health. 4. Skin Damage Sugar, while delicious, can wreak havoc on your skin if consumed in excess. Understanding how sugar affects your skin can empower you to make healthier dietary choices and achieve clearer, more radiant skin. Firstly, sugar consumption can lead to inflammation throughout the body, including the skin. When you consume sugary foods or beverages, your blood sugar levels spike, triggering the release of inflammatory molecules. This inflammatory response can manifest in the skin as redness, swelling, and irritation. Chronic inflammation can exacerbate skin conditions such as acne, rosacea, and eczema, making them more difficult to manage. Furthermore, sugar contributes to the breakdown of collagen and elastin fibers in the skin through a process known as glycation. When sugar molecules bind to collagen and elastin proteins, they create advanced glycation and products a GES. These AGES impair the structure and function of collagen and elastin, leading to premature aging signs such as wrinkles, fine lines, and sagging skin. By reducing sugar intake, you can minimize the formation of AGES and support healthier, more resilient skin. High sugar consumption also affects hormone levels, particularly insulin and androgens, which can influence oil production in the skin. When insulin levels spike in response to sugar intake, it can stimulate the production of androgens, hormones that increase sebum oil production. Excess oil on the skin can clog pores and promote the growth of acne-causing bacteria, leading to breakouts and blemishes. By moderating sugar intake and stabilizing insulin levels, you can help reduce oiliness and prevent acne flare-ups. Moreover, excessive sugar consumption can weaken the immune system, compromising the skin's ability to fight off infections and heal wounds. A weakened immune system makes the skin more susceptible to bacterial and fungal infections, as well as delays in the healing process of existing skin issues. By prioritizing a balanced diet rich in nutrients and antioxidants, you can support optimal immune function and promote healthier skin. In addition to its direct effects on skin health, sugar consumption can disrupt the balance of the gut microbiome, which plays a crucial role in skin health. Diets high in sugar can fuel the growth of harmful bacteria in the gut, leading to dysbiosis and inflammation. This imbalance in the gut microbiome can contribute to various skin issues, including acne, eczema, and psoriasis. Incorporating fiber-rich foods, probiotics, and prebiotics into your diet can help restore balance to the gut microbiome and improve skin health.
In conclusion, reducing sugar intake and adopting a balanced diet rich in whole foods, fruits, vegetables, and lean proteins can have a transformative effect on your skin. By minimizing inflammation, supporting collagen integrity, regulating hormone levels, boosting immune function, and balancing the gut microbiome, you can achieve clearer, more youthful looking skin from the inside out. Making mindful dietary choices is not only beneficial for your overall health but also essential for maintaining radiant, healthy skin for years to come. 5. Diabetes Sugar consumption and its relationship to diabetes, particularly type 2 diabetes, is a complex topic that involves various physiological processes and lifestyle factors. Understanding how sugar intake can contribute to the development of diabetes requires an exploration of the mechanisms involved, as well as the broader context of dietary habits and metabolic health. At its core, diabetes is a metabolic disorder characterized by elevated levels of blood glucose sugar. There are two main types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune condition where the body's immune system attacks and destroys insulin-producing cells in the pancreas, leading to a deficiency of insulin. Type 2 diabetes, on the other hand, typically develops later in life and is associated with insulin resistance and relative insulin deficiency. When we consume foods that are high in sugar, such as sugary drinks, desserts, and processed snacks, our blood sugar levels rise rapidly. In response, the pancreas releases insulin, a hormone that helps transport glucose from the bloodstream into cells to be used for energy or stored for later use. However, overconsumption of sugar can lead to chronically elevated blood sugar levels, which constrain the pancreas and contribute to insulin resistance. Insulin resistance occurs when cells in the body become less responsive to the effects of insulin. This means that despite the presence of insulin, cells have difficulty absorbing glucose from the bloodstream, leading to persistently high blood sugar levels. To compensate for insulin resistance, the pancreas may produce even more insulin, eventually leading to beta cell dysfunction and a decline in insulin production over time. Furthermore, excess sugar consumption can contribute to weight gain and obesity, which are major risk factors for the development of type 2 diabetes. A diet high in sugar often contains excessive calories but lacks essential nutrients, leading to increased calorie intake without adequate satiety. Additionally, sugary foods and beverages can promote fat storage, particularly visceral fat, which surrounds organs in the abdominal cavity and is associated with insulin resistance and metabolic dysfunction. It's important to recognize that while sugar consumption plays a significant role in the development of type 2 diabetes, it is just one piece of the puzzle. Genetic predisposition, lifestyle factors such as physical activity levels and overall dietary patterns, and other environmental factors also contribute to the risk of developing diabetes. 6. Cognitive decline. Excessive sugar consumption has been increasingly recognized as a contributing factor to cognitive decline and various neurological disorders. While sugar is a natural component of many foods and plays a role in providing energy to the body, excessive intake, particularly of added sugars, can have detrimental effects on brain health. Understanding the mechanisms through which sugar impacts cognitive function is crucial for promoting brain health and preventing cognitive decline. One of the primary ways in which sugar affects cognitive function is through its role in promoting inflammation. High sugar intake has been linked to chronic low-grade inflammation throughout the body, including the brain. This inflammatory response can disrupt normal brain function and contribute to the development of neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's disease. Chronic inflammation in the brain can lead to the accumulation of harmful substances, such as beta amyloid plaques, which are characteristic of Alzheimer's disease and can impair cognitive function. Moreover, excessive sugar consumption can lead to insulin resistance, a condition in which cells become less responsive to insulin, the hormone responsible for regulating blood sugar levels. Insulin resistance not only disrupts glucose metabolism in the body but also in the brain. The brain relies heavily on glucose for energy, and impaired glucose metabolism can lead to energy deficits and neuronal dysfunction. Over time, this can contribute to cognitive impairment and increase the risk of developing neurodegenerative diseases. In addition to promoting inflammation and insulin resistance, high sugar intake also contributes to oxidative stress in the brain. 
When sugar is metabolized, it generates reactive oxygen species ROS, which can cause damage to cells and tissues through oxidative stress. The brain is particularly vulnerable to oxidative damage due to its high metabolic rate and high content of polyunsaturated fatty acids. Oxidative stress can lead to the accumulation of damaged molecules and impair neuronal function, ultimately contributing to cognitive decline. Furthermore, excessive sugar consumption can alter the structure and function of the brain, particularly in regions involved in learning and memory. Research has shown that high sugar intake can impair synaptic plasticity, the ability of neurons to form and strengthen connections, which is essential for learning and memory. Additionally, sugar can disrupt the balance of neurotransmitters in the brain, affecting mood, cognition, and behavior. In conclusion, excessive sugar consumption can have profound effects on cognitive function and brain health. By promoting inflammation, insulin resistance, oxidative stress, and neuronal dysfunction, high sugar intake increases the risk of cognitive decline and neurodegenerative diseases. Therefore, reducing sugar intake and adopting a balanced diet rich in whole foods is essential for promoting brain health and preserving cognitive function throughout life. 7. Nutrient Depletion Sugar consumption can have profound effects on nutrient depletion within the body, impacting overall health and well-being. While sugar itself does not directly deplete nutrients, its consumption can lead to a cascade of physiological responses that ultimately result in nutrient imbalances and deficiencies. One of the primary reasons sugar contributes to nutrient depletion is its status as an empty calorie food. Sugary snacks, beverages, and processed foods often contain high levels of refined sugars but are lacking in essential nutrients such as vitamins, minerals, and fiber. When individuals consume these foods in excess, they may end up displacing more nutrient-dense options from their diet, leading to an imbalance in nutrient intake. Furthermore, excessive sugar consumption can disrupt the body's hormonal balance, particularly insulin regulation. When we consume foods high in sugar, our blood sugar levels spike, prompting the pancreas to release insulin to help transport glucose from the bloodstream into cells for energy. However, frequent and high levels of sugar intake can lead to insulin resistance, where cells become less responsive to insulin signals. This can disrupt the body's ability to properly absorb and utilize certain nutrients, such as magnesium, calcium, and chromium, which are essential for various metabolic processes. Moreover, sugar can compete with other nutrients for absorption in the body. For example, excessive intake of sugar can interfere with the absorption of vitamins such as vitamin C and minerals like magnesium and calcium. This competition for absorption can lead to deficiencies over time, even if individuals are consuming an otherwise balanced diet. In addition to impairing nutrient absorption, high sugar intake can increase the excretion of certain nutrients through urine. For instance, excessive sugar consumption can lead to increased urinary excretion of calcium, magnesium, and potassium. This increased loss of essential nutrients further exacerbates nutrient depletion within the body. Furthermore, chronic consumption of high amounts of sugar can contribute to inflammation and oxidative stress in the body. These physiological responses can impair nutrient absorption and utilization, further perpetuating the cycle of nutrient depletion. To mitigate the risk of nutrient depletion associated with sugar consumption, individuals should focus on consuming a balanced diet rich in whole foods, including fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains, and healthy fats. Limiting the intake of processed foods and sugary snacks and beverages can help prevent nutrient imbalances and support overall health and well-being. Additionally, incorporating lifestyle habits such as regular exercise and adequate hydration can further support nutrient absorption and utilization within the body. 8. Mood Swings Sugar's effect on mood is a complex interplay between biological, psychological, and behavioral factors. Understanding why sugar causes mood swings involves delving into the physiological processes that occur in the body after sugar consumption, as well as the psychological and behavioral ramifications of these changes. When you consume sugary foods or beverages, such as candy, soda, or pastries, the carbohydrates they contain are rapidly broken down into glucose, a type of sugar, in your digestive system. This glucose is then absorbed into the bloodstream, causing a spike in blood sugar levels. 
As blood sugar levels rise, the body releases insulin, a hormone produced by the pancreas, to help transport glucose from the bloodstream into cells, where it can be used for energy or stored for later use. The rapid rise in blood sugar levels after consuming sugary foods or drinks can lead to a surge in energy and mood. This is often accompanied by feelings of euphoria or happiness, as the brain receives a signal that energy is readily available. However, this spike in mood is short-lived, as the body quickly works to bring blood sugar levels back down to normal. The rapid decrease in blood sugar levels that follows the initial spike can result in a crash in mood and energy. When blood sugar levels drop, the brain perceives this as a threat to energy availability, triggering the release of stress hormones such as cortisol and adrenaline. These hormones can contribute to feelings of irritability, anxiety, and fatigue, commonly referred to as a sugar crash or sugar low. Repeated fluctuations in blood sugar levels, such as those experienced with frequent consumption of sugary foods and drinks, can have long-term effects on mood regulation. Chronic spikes and crashes in blood sugar levels can disrupt the balance of neurotransmitters in the brain, including serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine, which play key roles in mood regulation. Moreover, the psychological and behavioral aspects of sugar consumption can also influence mood. Many people turn to sugary foods and drinks as a form of self-soothing or emotional regulation, seeking temporary relief from stress, boredom, or negative emotions. However, relying on sugar to cope with emotional distress can create a cycle of dependence and exacerbate mood swings in the long run. In conclusion, sugar can cause mood swings through its impact on blood sugar levels, neurotransmitter balance, and psychological factors. Understanding these mechanisms can empower individuals to make informed choices about their dietary habits and develop healthier coping strategies for managing mood and emotions. 9. Addiction Sugar addiction is a complex phenomenon with both physiological and psychological components. While not recognized as a formal addiction in the same way as drugs or alcohol, many people experience behaviors similar to addiction when it comes to consuming sugary foods and beverages. Understanding why sugar can lead to addictive behaviors requires examining its impact on the brain, body, and behavior. One of the primary reasons sugar can be addictive is its effect on the brain's reward system. When we consume sugar, it triggers the release of dopamine, a neurotransmitter associated with pleasure and reward. This surge in dopamine creates feelings of pleasure and reinforces the desire to consume sugar-containing foods. Over time, repeated consumption of sugar can lead to changes in the brain's reward system, making it more sensitive to the effects of sugar and increasing the likelihood of cravings and addictive behavior. Research has shown that the brain's response to sugar can be similar to its response to addictive substances like drugs and alcohol. In animal studies, sugar has been found to stimulate the same areas of the brain implicated in drug addiction, such as the nucleus accumbens and the prefrontal cortex. This suggests that sugar has the potential to hijack the brain's reward system and lead to compulsive behaviors similar to those seen in substance abuse disorders. Additionally, sugar consumption can lead to the development of tolerance, where increasing amounts of sugar are needed to achieve the same pleasurable effect. This can drive individuals to consume larger quantities of sugar-rich foods in search of the same level of satisfaction, further reinforcing addictive behaviors. Moreover, withdrawal symptoms can occur when sugar intake is reduced or eliminated, including cravings, irritability, headaches, and fatigue, which are similar to those experienced when withdrawing from drugs or alcohol. Beyond its effects on the brain, sugar can also impact the body in ways that contribute to addictive behaviors. High sugar intake has been linked to changes in appetite-regulating hormones, such as leptin and ghrelin, which can disrupt hunger and satiety signals and lead to overeating. Additionally, sugar consumption can contribute to fluctuations in blood sugar levels, leading to energy crashes and increased cravings for more sugar. Psychological factors also play a role in sugar addiction. Many people turn to sugary foods as a way to cope with stress, boredom, or negative emotions, forming strong associations between sugar and comfort or reward. These emotional connections can further reinforce addictive behaviors and make it difficult to break free from sugar dependence. In conclusion, sugar addiction is a complex phenomenon driven by its effects on the brain, body, and behavior. 
the combination of its impact on the brain's reward system, development of tolerance and withdrawal symptoms, physiological effects on appetite and blood sugar regulation, and psychological factors contribute to the addictive nature of sugar for some individuals. Recognizing these factors is essential for understanding and addressing sugar addiction and developing strategies for reducing sugar intake and promoting healthier eating habits. In conclusion, while sugar can be enjoyed in moderation as part of a balanced diet, its overconsumption poses significant risks to health and well-being. By raising awareness, promoting healthy alternatives, and advocating for policy changes, we can work towards creating environments that support healthier food choices and reduce the burden of sugar-related diseases on individuals and society as a whole. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to get notified about upcoming videos.